And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast. Quick and dirty, how to. This time, it's Diaspora, Shattered Armistice. Recently released, but right now, there's no PPA. And if you're new to Linux, taking a look at the readme.txt could be a bit overwhelming. And you might want to go ahead and start playing. So I've tried to condense it down into 15 easy steps. Because if you like Battlestar Galactica, like me, you definitely know the force is strong with this one. And it's well worth your time. That said, let's go. The first step in our 15 step installation guide for installing Shattered Armistice is to download a copy. I've had better luck with the Torrent speedwise, but there are several direct downloads available. You can find that at linuxgamecast.com in the how to section for Diaspora Shattered Alliance on Ubuntu 1204. So let's go ahead and grab a copy. For the sake of time, I have one downloaded. The size is about one gigabyte. And we're just going to drop it on the desktop. So let's go ahead and open that. Now what we need to do is go into the Diaspora R1 Linux directory and just extract the Diaspora folder. Let's drop that on the desktop. Okay, now that that's done, let's just close this out and we should have our Diaspora folder on our desktop. Let's open that up. From here, we need to go into FS2 Open and let's open a terminal. Now before we get started, we need to install a couple of libraries. If you're following along with Linux Gamecast, you can just copy and paste the apt-get install. But before we do that, we need to add sudo, or it will not work. Let's key in the password. And you can see I already have everything installed. Up next is building the FS2 open. And that's easy enough. What we're going to do is run autogen. So, let's run autogen.sh. And this will also take care of the configure process. Now from here, just type make. Now if everything finished without errors, our next step is to move the code from fs to open to fs uh, fs to open diaspora. Use this command. And our next step is to build wx launcher. So let's change directory into that build. From here, we need to run CMake. And compile. With a make, and you can use the J option with the number of physical cores available to your computer. Now we're done with that. So we need to create our configuration template file. So let's go back to our Dispora directory. It's simple enough. And we're going to create the pro00099.ini. And we need to ch modded 644. Now, once that's done, we need to edit it. So, for me, I'm just going to use nano. So, 
Now around line 24 you'll find folder equals path to your Daspora folder here. And since I'm on the desktop, I should be in um, home vin desktop. And is that capitalized? D-I-A. Spora. You can also edit this through gedit or leafpad or anything you feel more comfortable with. But once that's done, I'll control X and hit Y to save the changes, then enter. Now we should be good at this point. So what we need to do is add the profile to the WX launcher. Paste that in. Followed by our second command. And if we've done everything correctly, if we launch WX Launcher, we should be greeted with Dospora. Welcome to the Colonial Fleet. And check your bots, make sure that's setting up. Basic settings were right, and you can move your Dospora folder anywhere you want. Just make sure to go back and change the game root folder to the location that you've chosen. Have a resolution, bit depth, audio, joystick, you're probably going to need that. Advanced settings, best just to leave these alone unless you know what you're doing. But once everything's together, um, enjoy. So say we all.